Game 2, Round 1, NBA Playoffs 2018. Miami Heat at the Philadelphia 76ers. Basically what happened was Miami outshot Philadelphia. Not that saying that they were shooting particularly good, but they outshot them. Um, Kelly Olenek wasn't the lead scorer. J.J. Redick wasn't the lead scorer. Ben Simmons did phenomenal, which I'll get into in a little bit moment. But, uh... Yeah, like, uh... Both teams shot terrible, terrible from the three, at least in the first half. I didn't see the second half yet. Uh, 2 of 10 for Miami, 2 of 14 from Philadelphia. And when you have, like, J.J. Redick and Marco Bellinelli on your team, that's just really bad. Um... Ben Simmons is a great 24 points, 8 assists, led in both categories. 10 of 17 from shooting. Um, I don't know if he shoots threes, but he has a very. He was compared to LeBron when he was getting dra around draft time during his draft. And it's not only the triple doubles, like he's also like forcing himself to the hoop very well. Dwayne Wade has a similar game like that, 28 points. Great off the bench, seemed like a starter. That's basically it. I could add more, but it was mainly the lack of three-point shooting from Philadelphia, which is so important when they're spacing out the floor. No Joel in mid. I didn't see... The defense was particularly good from my other side, but they just outshot the other team. What I saw, it wasn't really any big strategy. Ben Simmons did great. Um, I think... I wish I would see more out of Goran Dragic, but like, I don't know, I was never a big fan of his. Like, him and Wade played basically the same game anyway. I only left Kelly Olenek led in assists in the second game. 33 minutes, 22 seconds. Goran Dragic still had 20 points, shot above 50%, 8 of 14, 1 of 3 from 3. James Johnson, 18 points, 7 of 7. That's just phenomenal, can't complain about that. Tyler Johnson, yikes. 5 points, that big contract he has. Son white side sells and showing up four points. One block? That's just pitiful for him. He's not had a good year. Um Darius Sark, a very bully ball player too, twenty three points, three of ten from three. Not good shooting percentage, but I don't know he did alright. I don't know how I feel about ESO just starving starting, but he did do the pick and roll very good. He's much better than he was in Milwaukee a couple years ago. So, uh, compared to the, the last game. Dragic only had 15 points. James Johnson, 13. Like the oh, whole Miami team just played terrible that whole game. We had 11. They just didn't show up. Basically, they got completely owned. Redick, Sark, Simmons. Simmons wasn't that good last game. Sark was equal as good the last two games. Well, another 25 last game, too, so he really showed up. Markel Fultz is really had time to become a factor. They didn't really just an Anderson or T.J. McConnell, not that they should. Mary Johnson, I guess, is just there for defensive purposes. I mean, about Embiid, I would say Philadelphia has the has this advantage. It's one major score they don't have. And they're going to have to rely on the three-point shooting. J.D. Rick, she's like, I don't know, 50% or whatever is on three. Danny Tim and Bolinelli off the bench. Um, we do shoot on three point shooting league, but to be reliant on that in the playoffs is a little bit hard. Well, Cleveland did it last year, which we'll see. Where's Last Like, Come and Subscribe?